So, um, this is why I don't like, gen I generally don't like society because people like this who comment under my comment section say shit like this, but the women get to come online and get cash apps or the women get to go online and take the easy route out. But then when men try to get some extra, you know, not extra shit, but literally get some support. Now we're told that we got to go get a real job, bro. See, this is why I say that more and more men are walking the fuck away from society because we're watching women do whatever the fuck they want. While guys like this ignore them and let them do whatever they want and then turn around and say, you need to follow the rules and you need to do, you need to do A, Y, Z, right? This is one of the reasons why a lot of people, especially men, are fed up with this shit. Men get real jobs, so-called real jobs, careers. These dumb motherfuckers still tell you to go out here and do this runaround, right? So you got a real job, and then they tell you that you still got to self-improve and waste millions and millions. You got to waste thousands and thousands of dollars just to go get one chick to talk to you, right? So you work hard just to get one chick to talk to you. You work hard just to impress a group of people. You work hard just to make so-called friends, right? I mean, I've seen these people tell guys, that they need to spend their half of their money, their bank account money, just to go out and meet new people. While these idiots will laugh at you if you get fired from your job. And then you ask, I mean, do, they, do these type of people, uh, do a person like this tell somebody that goes on GoFundMe to go get a job, get a real job? Do this person goes around and tells the female on here on the campsite models to go get real jobs. It's funny that people like this tell you to go get a real job. But then when you do have a job, they want to be able to call your job and get you fired if you don't do what they want you to do. You know, the LGBTQ community bullshit, all this other stuff. It's funny that they want you to have they want to have an opportunity to bring you down anywhere they go. And this is one of the people that I'm talking about who are socially awkward weirdos, the real socially awkward weirdos who have to follow you everywhere online just to say, leave little comments, say, leave little comments instead of going about that way. Now, mind you, it's a Sunday. I mean, it's a Saturday. This person is supposed to have a so-called life, but they're under my comment section telling me to go get a real job, right? Mind you, I don't have a whole bunch of followers, but I decided to post people who supported me because I just didn't ask for cash. I just didn't ask for support cash app this year. See, this is what happens when you don't know me. You didn't know me for a couple years and know that I've never asked for anything Last year, before years, years ago, when I first started. But this is what happens when you come in the comment sections and you don't know the person you're talking about. Difference between you and me is I'm not kind of going under your video because you don't have any. I stay in my I stay in my peripheral lane. Why don't you tell Brittany Venti to go get a real job? Why don't you tell Dustin to go get a real job? Why don't you tell some of these other content creators to go get a real job? I don't see you under those comment sections telling you telling them to go get a real job. This is why I hate hypocrites in, in this country and I hate hypocrites in this society. This is the reason why.